Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from a far corner of the Silkworm Gang Island in this Let's Play Minecraft survival series. In the previous episode, we began construction of the great wall that is surrounding the treehouse. And in this episode, my friends, we are going to be finishing off that wall as well as starting construction of a small village that is going to sit beneath the treehouse. We're also going to be returning to Rentopia to get a few of you guys onto the freaking dogolith. And man, we have got a butt ton to do in this episode, my friends. So sit back and relax. Let's play some Minecraft survival. Now, guys, at the end of the previous episode, I did a butt ton of work on the wall that is surrounding the Silkworm Gang Island Fort. You might be able to see it from here, although it's a little bit far away, but I have essentially constructed a wall of a whole bunch of random materials from logs to fences to, to dirt to freaking leaves to everything that I could jam into that wall. And uh, while I was doing that, I realized that we actually are running out of resources. Namely, we are running out of this juicy ass material over here known as coal. And uh, basically, I need a lot more coal so that I can make more torches. Uh, while I was wandering around the, the fort itself, the sun was going down and there were zombies and stuff spawning in the actual fort itself because we don't have any torches in the little outpost over there or on the on the bridges or anything like that. So what I want to do is collect as much coal as I can now uh, while, you know, while the sun is up so that I can make a few more torches to get this place lit up. And then guys, I can't actually wait to show you the awesome work that I've done on the wall, man. It is looking absolutely sweet. And uh, you know, while I was constructing the wall, it brought back such like amazing memories for me because essentially the way that I made this wall was exactly the same way that I made the original Silkworm Gang wall just out of random freaking jazz and uh, I actually dug into the side of the mountain somewhere around here on the hunt for gravel there it is um, and the reason that I want gravel is because I thought that we should do something with the area below the the tree house and I thought what, what we should do is make like a little village just make a few houses and stuff and then maybe what we can try and do is transport a few villagers from Mole City to Silkum Gang Island. So some of those new Griswold babies, man. Uh, I think we've got like two or three new ladies that have been spawned by Griswold and Hippolyta and I thought that maybe we could bring them across via the railway network and make them residents of Silkum Gang Island. You know, we need a few people to protect this fort while we're away in Season 4, man. And, uh, you know, they're obviously going to need somewhere to live. So I thought what we would do is make like a few like a few houses below uh, the, the, the tree house for them to live in and see if we can actually populate the island a little bit. That would be pretty sweet. I mean, you know, we need members of Silkum Gang Island, man. Right now, I'm the leader of Silkum Gang Island, but I do not have any freaking members. We have nobody in our gang. Who is going to protect this island from a freaking space gang invasion? I mean, it's not going to be me because I'm going to be elsewhere in season four, man. I'm going you know, to be trying to find the end and stuff. So <laughs> we definitely need to get a few members of Silkum Gang Island up in here. And uh, I've used our very last diamond that we had um, in our stash to fix this diamond pickaxe over here uh, so that we can collect all of this coal. And there is actually a really nice little cache of, uh, of gravel over here. And the reason that I want this gravel is because I want to make the roads of the Silkum Gang Island village out of gravel. So I'm going to come here and mine a little bit of this gravel. But man, guys, I was so freaking happy to be able to bring you guys the previous episode. Man, it was cray cray, man. <laughs> I literally, I recorded the video, I edited it, and then I transferred it onto my phone via a USB cable. And then using my phone's 3G network, I uploaded that video onto YouTube uh, and, and managed to bring it to you guys um, in the previous episode. So now I know that I can get videos up onto YouTube without the use of the internets the only problem is well there's two problems number one it took about three and a half hours to upload <laughs> number two um, it actually capped out my data usage um, I think it was for 48 hours or something um, but yesterday I tried to upload a video and it just wasn't working. Um, I actually tried to upload a Feed the Beast video, but it just it just wouldn't allow me to. It was going at like a ridiculously slow speed. So I think what happened was my mobile network capped my uploading uh, for a while. But it seems to be back again now. I try to upload like a just like a test 100 meg video, and that seemed to upload just fine. So I think I'm gonna be able to get this video up for you guys pretty quickly um, today, which is excellent. And in even more good real life news, guys, I am getting 
internet in three freaking days. On Friday, people are coming to install uh, fiber optic internet up in my new place and it is going to be sweet man it's going to be pretty fast um i am going to be sharing that that fiber optic line with seven other people though so um it's going to be a little bit slow i think at times but you know what i'm going to be able to get back into the world of the internet man it has been so weird being separated from what essentially is my my home away from homes man the interbubs um <laughs> but what i'm slowly starting to learn over the, over the last few days is the routine that i'm going to follow and guys what i want to do now Let's just find a spot where I can actually show you what the Great Wall looks like, man. It is looking so awesome. Um, but And I've also made like a really sweet little entrance over here too. So I think what I want to do is just like come over come over here somewhere and just make like a, like a noob ladder out of this gravel that I've collected so I can show you what the Great Wall looks like. Um, and then after that, we'll head up to the surface and I'll show you guys the, uh, the work that I've been doing around the fort itself. But let's go get, get all the way up here. Um, but what I've learned is that the, the, the time where I have the least amount of noise in the place that I live is between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. At 2 p.m., traffic starts to pick up outside of my room because people are, are, are driving to, to lunch or going back and forth or whatever. And about 5 p.m., my housemates start to get back from work. They start cooking. Um, and, then, and then a whole bunch of noise starts to appear again. But um, between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. is the, my prime time for recording. So that's when I'm doing most of my recording now. But here we go, guys. We can actually get a very, very nice view of the Great Wall up in this jazz. And as you can see, it is looking so freaking sweet, man. And when I was constructing this, it brought back such amazing memories because uh, <laughs> it just made me remember like how I actually constructed the original Silkum Gang Island wall, just piling like bits of wood and dirt and rocks on top of each other to create a wall. And this wall goes around the entire circumference of the top of this mountain over here uh, to, to basically lock in the area underneath the treehouse. And I've also made like a little entrance over here, which is pretty sweet. So um, I want to get myself down, get myself back up uh, to the fort and have a sleep because right now the sun is going down which is bad times for us um and oh, oh, some more bad news is that we are basically out of materials that we looted from the abandoned mine shaft. We have like 64, we got 84 oak wood planks left and about three and a half uh, stacks of fencage left. And we are basically out of those materials. So when we create this little village at the base of the tree house, we're going to have to use some other materials to do so, I think. But uh, I better get my sword out. I don't even have a freaking sword with me right now. And the sun has gone down. This is not good times, guys. There's no torchage up in the in the platforms coming from the railway station so we might run into some trouble here but um i do want to show you the entrance that i've built um i've been thinking about trying to make like a redstone wall uh, door like a secret door that that you need a lever to open or something like that we did manage to pick up some slime balls um so we could make some sticky pistons but uh, let's just get our buttholes into the fort. And it doesn't look like there's been any spawnage around here uh, so far. So that's good. But check it out, guys. Look at the entrance, man. It's looking awesome. It's made out of like a whole bunch of different materials, different logs and dirt uh, and some fencage. And you can see the wall is really, really freaking solid, man. And no enemy of the Silkum Gang is getting up in this place, man. That is for shizzle. Uh, what I've also done off camera, guys, is cleared away the wheat fields that were over here. Um, as you can see, everything is looking much cleaner. And uh, I've also dug out a potential line for for roads that i want to make out of gravel over here so all of these passageways that you see over here we're going to turn those into roads and this this scatterbutt wants to rumble take it to your freaking slabbage you bastard Bam! sweet well I, I think i think that's a i think that's the sign man we need to get up to up to our bed and sleep this night away before we get owned uh but you can also see the circumference of the wall that goes all the way around and it i just love it man i think it looks so awesome like all the different types of blocks it's so sweet man it's it's like the the fort now really feels like a fort it feels like a fortification and that is exactly what i was going for and man that wall took me i don't know it took me about an hour or so to construct um I'd collected a butt ton of luggage from the grove, so it was pretty easy to make. It was just a matter of like cycling between the different materials, between leaves and dirt and logs and fences. Um, and I did it sort of one layer at a time. 
uh, starting at the bottom and I went all the way around. And as you can, as you guys can see, it's looking sweet, man. It goes all the way around over here. And what I also tried to do was use the natural trees as a part of the fortification. So like this tree over here is a part of the wall. There's a couple of trees at the back of the fort over here too that, that form part of the wall over here. Check it out. This tree is like a part of the wall, which is so sweet. But what I want to do is create a platform that runs along the top of the wall kind of like a, a platform where the archers can go and stand uh, so they can you know throw freaking sand bomb arrows at the approaching um the approaching space gang members uh, so that's what i want to try and do today guys and i'm just going to install this this gravel road over here while we're at it and what i want to do is create a few little houses over here like a couple of huts and then we're going to need one wheat field i think um, which we will we, we will create like a little farmer's hut or something next to that that wheat field um, And we also need to like I don't know what I'm going to do about this entrance And this is a question that I wanted to ask you guys uh, before I actually do it now this sign you guys might remember this sign from episode one of season three and in fact from the trailer for those, those of you who can remember that far back. Um, this sign over here is the original sign that we put up when we started in Silicon Gang Island and I kind of want to move it but I also kind of just want to leave it here. But it kind of gets in the way of our road and it gets in the way of our, our like architecture up in this place, man. So I'm not entirely 100% sure on whether we should move it or not. And let me know in the comment section below, guys, how would you feel about me moving that sign? Um, personally, I don't really want to move it, but I kind of want to make a monument uh, to the sign. And my feeling is if we just use the same sign uh, and replace it somewhere else, I think that'll that'll put our OCD to rest. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm going to plan this bad boy. You guys have a think about that question. I'm going to get all this gravel laid down, and we actually don't have enough freaking gravel to do this. Um, <laughs> man, that is unfortunate. So I'm going to go mine a bit more gravel, get all of these roads installed. I'll bring you guys back on the other side of this freaking plan. Comply. All right, Cyberdogs, welcome back. I have just finished laying down the gravel roads just below the Silkworm Gang treehouse over here. And as you can see, it is looking pretty sweet. We've got a nice little area over here that I think we could plant a wheat field up in this jazz and then make like a little farmer's uh, house over here in this corner. And then maybe behind the farmer's house, we can have a barn where we can store all of the food. And then up here, maybe we can make like a, another house or a little apartment or something. Uh, and then we can start shipping some NPCs from Mole City to come and be members of the Silkworm Gang. Uh, but guys, more importantly, we need to work on the wall of the Silkworm Gang uh, Island Fort. We need to get it fortified completely. Right now, while the wall is up, we are unable to patrol the perimeter of our fort. So what I'm going to do is lay down um, basically a platform of dirt that's going to follow the top of the wall all the way around the fort and then what we can do is build like another um, layer of wall on the inside of the fort right and this is going to allow us to be able to to walk like walk on top of the wall all the way around the fort so that we can get a nice view of all of the surroundings and more importantly we can make sure that that butthole gareth is not planning an invasion and if he is planning an invasion we will be able to spot him coming uh, with no problems at all so i'll tell you what i'm going to do guys i'm going to lay down this little dirt um plat Form all the way around the wall over here and I think yeah I, I'm gonna try and make it like yeah like it, it won't all be the same level right we'll make it we'll make this little platform go up and down and stuff that'll that'll make it really really sweet like the reason I love this wall is because it is just so asymmetrical it is like the opposite of symmetry and you know how much uh, you know we struggle with symmetry in this series man we we have so many freaking symmetry fails all the time but uh <laughs> on silicon gang island it's like asymmetry man that is that is basically what we're trying to achieve up in this jazz is, is asymmetry so uh, that's actually pretty sweet and i think yeah like for example in this position over here we could probably go up and then just build up the wall on this side. Yeah, so we could do that. So why don't we do that now? Um, so we can just build a couple more like walls over here. Let's get some fencage going. And it's literally just trying to make the wall as randomly generated as possible, basically. Um, as if, you know, it had been put together by a whole bunch of freaking, like, just stuff that we'd found around here. And that's exactly what it looks like now. So that is sweet, man. Let's tell you what, guys. I'm going to lay down the rest of this platform, bring you back to the other side of this. Kaplam! We can go for a nice little walk around the perimeter of the Silkum Gang Island Fort. Kaplam!
Welcome back cyber diggity dogs. I have just finished placing the wall platform all the way around the perimeter and as you can see it is looking kind of janky because the whole thing is made out of dirt. What I'm thinking we should do is upgrade it to luggage or something like that but I'm going to be experimenting with that off camera a bit and firstly guys I want to take you guys on a little tour of the platform around the great wall and as you can see from up here we get such an awesome view of everything and I just love the the, the pillars that make up the great wall too. They've got torches on them and every now and then you can see them like sticking out and jutting out it has like a really awesome feel of like a medieval fort or something uh it's really sweet <laughs> and as you can see the platform goes all the way around here there's a few points where we have to just make it a little bit more accessible like that and it, um the, the platform goes down it goes up it goes around the trees um over here we could probably fix up the fence a little bit over here there we go and if we come all the way around over here we get a view of this side of the island and we're going to come all the way to the back side of the island and what i need to do now is build up this side of the wall so the inside of the of the wall uh with logs and leaves and random fences and all of that stuff and here we get a view of, of a new beach down there um and of the the grove over there so that is pretty sweet and and over here i need to do a lot of work on the wall actually uh because i wanted the platform to go around this tree so i need to build up the wall around this platform a bit and then we come all the way around here we get a great view of the um the underwater tunnel from this side of the wall we can see gareth and his freaking space gang coming from a mile away man if they choose to use the railway line and we also get a nice view of the the silkum gang island railway station over there so this is looking freaking sweet man oh man this is this is going to be awesome I'm, I'm so happy with how the wall has turned out uh it's kind of turned out exactly the way that i envisioned it basically um and i just love the asymmetry of it i love how messy it is um and it just it has such an awesome 40 40 feel uh if you ask me man it's looking freaking sweet well cyber diggity dogs unfortunately we have run out of time in this episode as you know at the moment i can't make my videos too long so we're gonna have to head back to rentopia right now to get a whole bunch of you guys onto the dogolith but before we do that guys let's get one last view of the wall from the the silkum gang island railway station over here looking absolutely epic and uh let's get our minecart on the departures platform take our buttholes back to rentopia and i also want to get a view of the wall from the other side over there uh so let's go to the other side of the underwater tunnel and look back at what we have constructed and man i think it's going to look pretty sweet i hope we can see the wall from this side actually um let's have a look oh yeah you can see the wall from here just in the distance over there looking absolutely awesome and what's looking even more awesome is the battle room over there that just looks so epic i mean the silkworm gang island is basically the territory of the silkworm gang and this mainland is the territory of the space gang so that battle room gives the the silkworm gang such an epic view of their enemy's territory man look at that that is so sweet i can't freaking believe how awesomely silkworm gang island is starting to come along man when I think about having started this little island at the beginning of the season, we literally just started on a fresh, brand new island. And it's starting to look exactly how I had envisioned it in my brain. It makes me so freaking happy, man. But anyway, guys, let's get back to Mole City. Let's get back to the Dogolith Courtyard. And we're going to get eight more of you cyber diggity dogs onto the Dogolith for today. I will see you on the other side of this. Complain! Complain! All right, Cyberdogs, welcome back. We have returned to Rentopia to get eight more of you guys onto the Dogolith. Starting with YouTube subscribers, we have got Melissa Sim, Kyla Moorhead, Char L, and King Curl. Welcome to the Dogolith, my Cyberdog friends. You've been immortalized in the interbubs forever. And now from Dogcraft.net, the official Cyberdog fan community, we have got Cyber Smasher. Jonathan Kutcher, Super Luum 19, and Game Nerd 2K. Welcome to the Dogolith, my friends. Thank you so much for watching my videos and being subscribers. And can you guys freaking believe that we have almost finished the final wall of the Season 3 Dogolith? That is absolutely insane. And this means that we have very few episodes left in Season 3, man. This is all the space we have left, which is absolutely crazy. And guys, if you want to stand a chance of being added to the Dogolith, you need to be a subscriber of the Ren Dog channel. And and you need to leave me a constructive comment here and there on my videos. I choose you guys randomly from the videos. You can also join dogcraft.net 
the official Cyberdog fan community. It is free to join and there is a, a thread on the forums there where you can leave your YouTube username uh, to be added to the Dogolith. So guys, that is all the time we have left for in today's episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. In the next episode, we're going to start working on the Silkum Gang Village and it is going to be freaking awesome. Thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. It's been Ren Diggity Dog playing Minecraft Survival. We will see you Cyberdogs in the next video. Goodbye, everybody!